All right, so I have my image ready for you guys, and I will show you how to move this R and S over on this side so that it actually spells watercolors. And the way we're going to do this is first we're going to unlock this background layer. So just double click on it and then click OK and that's going to unlock it. Now what I want you to do is grab your crop tool. So either go over here to your tools or press C on your keyboard and that's going to give you these little points over here on the sides and edges that you can grab and make this bigger. So we're going to drag this out um, enough to fit the R and S in there and just press enter or that little check mark that was over there. So what I want you to do now is grab the lasso tool which is right over here. Um, either grab the polygonal lasso, lasso tool or just a regular lasso that's what I'm gonna grab. And you can zoom in a little bit to get a better view. Click L on your keyboard for the lasso tool and then just select your letters or your words if you're working on something else. So get kind of close to them. I'm going to select all of these little splatters. You can press shift and that will add to the selection. That will give you that little plus right there you can see. Or you can press option or alt and it will give you a minus. So then you can take out any selections. You can do this and then deselect that area or press shift and then reselect it if you want it back. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut this out. You want to press control X or command X on your keyboard or go to edit and cut. So we're going to cut that out of there and then we're going to press command V on the keyboard and we're going to paste it back. So now it created a new layer just with that R and S in it. So just grab it with your move tool which is right over here. Grab your move tool and then just move it over to where you want to place it and leave it over there. And you can see that the white that I selected with the R is kind of coming over the O and uh, you get this white line looking thing over here. So the way to erase this is to basically just erase it. You can grab your erase tool which is right over here or press E on your keyboard and then just erase a little bit of that um, or just make sure you're in your top layer with the R and S in it. Or what you can do is select that top layer, go to your transparency tool thing right over here, the menu it says normal. Uh, you can change it to multiply and that will kind of make the R transparent um, or at least the white parts in it. So the white it has turned to transparent and then you can just move it over and um, kind of blend it in there. So that's about it. Um, now you can grab the C tool or the crap tool again and Crop it again to any size you need. I'm going to change my ratio to square because this image is for my Instagram. So I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Make sure this is nicely centered in there. Um, I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then just press the little check mark up here or press enter. Now I will move to my bottom layer. I'm going to click G on my keyboard and select this paint bucket tool. So you might have to press option G on your keyboard or just look over here and find your paint brush, paint bucket tool. And you can fill this background to white. You can just click right there and right there and fill it to white. Or another simpler way is to just flatten it. If you know you don't need these layers anymore, you're not going to be moving anything else around, you are done, you just want to save this, you can flatten your file. So just click flatten file. You would find that right here, these little lines, you click on those and then you choose flatten image. And that automatically flattens everything and gives it a white background. All right, guys, so this is about it. Um, you have moved your letters or your words, whatever you guys were working on. This is it. So please leave a comment below and let me know if there's anything else you want to learn about or any problems you have with this technique that I can help you with.
See you in the next video.